You gotta grab it fast. <laughs> 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 Don't lose the $500 Mitanium DC. What's up, YouTube? Today we're meeting up and gonna go do some fishing with subscribers. I want Cody. <laughs> you guys have probably seen Cody in a previous vlog. We've done some fishing together, and he's actually uh, gonna whip around with us today and maybe hit a pond or two. Then we also got Derek. What's up, man? Oh, guys. In town from Springfield? Springfield, Missouri. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so he came all the way out here. Check out Guggen HQ. I mean, what, what else is on the agenda for you guys, though? Oh, man. Fish, fish, fish. Fish, fish, that's what we're here to do. Sick. So, he went and stopped by Guggen HQ if I'm not mistaken already. Look at this, he picked up some of the new oh, GS yeah. cranks. You got some of the, no. He got some of the new fluorocarbon. Lunkers TV might have signed this one. Guggen baits. Oh my gosh. Don't come looking for this pickup because it's loaded with baits. You might get away with something good. <laughs> So we actually came to a top secret pond in the middle of a golf course that we've been kicked out of before. It's just over yonder. We're gonna see if we can't give this the old dangle and catch some fish this morning. Hopefully y'all will enjoy this one right here. Let's get rigged and ready. Just walking up to the first pond. I don't know what's under all that. <laughs> I fall right through. <laughs> <laughs> that would happen to Cody. We're just walking up to the first pond. It's kind of off the course and we identified the little juicy honey zone right here where the water's flowing into the main body of water. It has been raining a lot. This is super stained. It looks like chocolate. No, no, no. On first, okay, on first approach, it looked like chocolate milk, but I can actually see the bottom right here. It's very shallow. A Little bit of visibility. We're gonna throw some crack and crawls around, maybe a couple crankbaits. We'll see what they're hitting right now, and uh, we'll get right back to you. Let's hop over to the GoPro. GoPro, for sure. So, there's a lot of turtles, dude. So with this one, you just wanna bring it back, not by reeling it, but by like keeping the line kind of tight and then popping it a few times along the bottom and then you'll just reel on the slack as you bring it down pop it, again, pop it a few down. times yep and they'll just see it on the bottom and smash it and then you bring the rod tip down as you reel on that slack pop it a few times when you come across the right bass you get that and then you're like i would cast around this area for a good 10 minutes or five minutes and see what happens. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, how do we cast again? <laughs> how do we cast, Weston? <laughs> so don't get too close to the water because if you can see them, they can see you and it's fairly clear. So come right back, like right here. Okay, so yeah, what you do, good question. Press the button, thumbs on it. Now give it a smooth cast and put your thumb on it when it hits the water. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That one's a little tough to mess up. I think you'll be fine. We'll see who catches one first. I'm gonna throw this white Guggen Squad crankbait, you guys. I say white, that's not the name of the color. Um, I forget which color this is, but he's got a little bit of yellow and orange on the underbody. He's got that shad color on the outside with a little green and blue on the top. Juicy. And it's a tiny little guy. It doesn't dive deep, which is perfect for this because it's very shallow. So we'll see if we can't catch a fish before we catch grass on this thing. Ooh, you got him? Cody's on. There we go. Ooh, tiny guy, dude. Ooh, Cody's hooked up with the first one of the day on the Blue Baby Crack and Crawl. Let's get this thing off the hook and back in the water. Grab his bottom lip. You got it. Firm, firm, firm. Don't screw around. Don't let him shake and get you with that hook. You got to grab it fast. You got to grab it fast. <laughs> <laughs> grab that bottom lip. Grab it. Shoo. <laughs> Taking rookies fishing. <laughs> Hold the hook. Right. Oh, now, no, yeah, now, so, so just grab it off to the side. You're good. He's gonna flop. Like, just know he's gonna flop. Just grab it and hold it. Yep. Grab and hold. You're fine. Yep. Now push that baby out of there. Oh, too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Catching hogs on the channel this morning, babies. That's at least five pounds. <laughs> no, that was a little quarter or half pounder. But right on the spot we assumed was going to catch the first fish, we were trying to give Cody the upper hand. Uh, <laughs> little did we know he didn't need it. He was fishing with the Guggen baits. So if you guys are interested in picking up any Guggen baits or any extra tackle for your uh, tackle box at home, you can get up to 30% off with Carl's Bait and Tackle. I'll go ahead and link them down at the top of the description. But uh, I got to try and catch a fish now because I'm getting smoked over here. Cody's catching fish, so he he's just going to get the GoPro. Here, take the GoPro. Sweet. No, you don't. He does. He's got another one. Chest mounts on. Don't worry, I'll strap him up. Hold on, don't bring him in here. Yes. That's. Is that back to back cast? Yeah. It's a little bigger one, dude. 
on the GoPro. So I hope y'all caught that. Cody's upgrading with every fish. This one's a little bit darker green in color, uh, slightly bigger, maybe by an ounce or so. And uh, Cody is running, running with the Texas rig right now. Crushing it, quarter ounce weight, darker colored crack and craw. And uh, look at that. Two for two, that's back, to, was that back to back cast? Back to back, man. So how were you, what were you doing? Like, how did you catch it? Like, wh what was the technique right there? Technique is put the GoPro on. <laughs> the GoPro does it, man. GoPro, Didn't do it for me. Let it sit at the bottom, GoPro on, and bam. <sighs> <sighs> I'm ashamed. And then this right here, it's a little, yeah. it's kind of different. Oh, she, she got twisted up that time. This is about to be three in a row. I'm saying, <laughs> I hope so, dude, I hope so. Cody's about to go three for three. Three for three, man. We are re-rigging the crack and crawl. Just broke off one little section since these things are hammering it. All right, let's get a three pounder out here. Got another one. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nope, that's something. Okay. Oh, there we go, it's off. You, you got it? Yeah. Okay, here, let's show the viewers. <laughs> we'll drop this down a little bit. So sometimes if you get Sometimes if you get hung up or just after every few casts, your hook becomes exposed on your Texas rig and you might get caught like Cody just did. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sink that hook back into the plastic and then you shouldn't be getting caught on too much. Only if a fish grabs a hold of this Texas rig will they get that hook when you set it. Let's go. Whenever this is, happens like this, yeah. and I see it out, yeah. just kind of... Yeah, put, put your damn finger in its mouth! <laughs> One, two. Fresh crack and crawl for Cody since he's burning through them. I saw you over there with it. Derek's over on the other side of the pond where we caught those first ones. Check out his fish. He just caught a, Derek on the rattling Ned just caught about a two pounder on the other side. That's sick. Let's get some more. Oh, here's the spot right here. This is the one. We found the spot, boys. Right by this waterfall. First cast was a bite and I missed him. Second cast, we got this little guy right here on the crack and crawl. This is the danger zone, I think. We just saw a bird, one of those heron things or something, hanging out right here, looking for those bait fish. Bass are gonna be eating them. Let's get them. We're right in here where this water's flowing in. They're like, they're hanging out, looking for all the stuff that's getting thrown down here. Just cast in here, you'll get them. I'm just waiting for a big one to latch on here. Cody just got a couple hits. They're chasing it up to the bank. I just got a couple hits. One ate one of my pinchers. So I'm switching it up to another crack and crawl. They're here. Let's get them. Something just flopped right here. Hey, one just tried to bite it right here when I pulled it out of the water. Oh man, dude, they're, they're biting them. New GoPro battery, he's set up. Guys, quick update. Cody was hammering him right off the bat. I think he got two or three by now. What are we, what are we talking about? I think it was like two. two okay, three. so yeah. Cody's on two or three. I caught one over by the waterfall. I see some movement right here. I think we're at the next spot that's gonna work out pretty well. But then we've also got Derek. He's linked up with one. Or have you caught two now? You caught the gill. Caught a gill, yeah. One bass, one bluegill. So we're at a new pocket right here. There's definitely a no fishing sign right there and golfers right there. So we're just trying to keep a low key. This shirt right here. The apparel we're wearing today, this was actually made by a couple off of Instagram. They totally hit me up and made this out of the blue. It was a shock and I love this shirt. If you want to check them out, they make some cool clothing. I'll put their Instagram and the uh, link down in the description. And uh, dudes, I'm loving this. So Julie, thank you guys. Bearded Texan, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to rock this thing on some future fishing videos. Four bangers and wall hangers. So you'll probably see the Subaru STI. We're driving that today. Four bangers, the license plate on there. And then you got your wall hanging bass, your big seven pounders you want to mount up on the wall. Appreciate you guys. Let's get back to fishing, y'all. Can't fish on the golf course, sir. Nah, you, can just, you can just tighten it up. You can just crank it up. This one's no good, but that other one's fine. Marshall just gave us the boot, but he was very generous and said, we can't fish here, but we can fish here. 
<laughs> okay guys, so what just happened is we were over here fishing this side, but apparently you can't do that. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna switch from right here on over to the side of the sidewalk we were on when we first started and give it another go. I'm barely even getting any, I don't even think I got in a bite over here. Morning. He didn't tell me his backpack weighed 800 pounds. Dude, what do you got in this bag? Like two cinder blocks? <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> oh, what do we have here? Okay, that's a good one. On the Nico rig, two and a half boys. Yoo! <laughs> Biggest one of the day came on the worm, boys. We just hooked up with a Nico rig, and Devin had set that up. I don't even know if I have those worms on hand or the little weights that she had to put in there, but um, whoop, sick little chunk. Lighter in color. A lot of these guys out of this pond have been lighter in color this morning. So, you know, maybe just shy of two pounds are right at it, but uh, we will take this one right here. Let's get him back in the water. First decent fish this morning for me. Come on. Wacky rig hunkers log. Ooh, baby. Little fella. Nice. That's kind of a weighted wacky rig, huh? Yep. Let's show them the setup. Nice. So just a little bit of a weight there, and it's even a weedless setup. It's got that little extra barb so that it doesn't pass the hook so that you yep. don't get caught on as much weeds. This working is, it slow? This and the Ned rig, yeah, working it slow. This is what gets it done in Missouri, and now it's getting it done in Texas. All right, guys, that wraps up today's festivities. We each got two to three bass apiece, had a bunch of fun throwing all kinds of different baits. Uh, you guys, don't forget to check out Shop Carl's down in the description below, as well as everyone's social media. I'm going to have that linked, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Until then, peace. <gasps>